Many remember these two officer involved shootings in Valdosta last year, each terrifying, but thankfully documented on body cameras. That video protecting both officers involved. The department now unveiling more than 100 new and improved cameras. The cost, $450,000, money the chief says is well spent. New tonight, our Nolani Matthew shows us what it means for protecting officers and the community. The universal sound to pull over. Officer man in Valos Police Department, reading yes. a stop is for your seatbelt. A traffic stop that Officer Derek Manning knows can go one of two ways. When I saw you, I said, I don't have it on. Okay. Either way, this officer now feeling safer. Now we're able to label the video uh, right here at the scene of the traffic stop. It's the department's newest body camera, a stark difference from the older model by simple comparison. So what's different about this one? Well, the countless hours it saves officers when downloading these videos after their shift. More time efficient, keeping officers patrolling the road. Mr. Shepard, all right, just make sure we buckle up, okay? And oh, simply man. connecting to Wi-Fi, so instead of an hour, taking minutes to upload for a report. I feel very safe knowing uh, if there's an uh, instance of it where I have to use use of force against somebody, I feel very safe that uh, it's recorded. A clear picture, whether it to be to the public or a grand jury. Now with even better sound and video. I don't want you to be them people who could have been saved. I uh, so I care about your safety, okay? A heightened sense of security and more time to be on the streets and in the community. In Valdosta, Nolani Matthews, WCTV Eyewitness News. The department began adding body cameras to every uniform in spring of 2014. The police chief says it's become an essential tool in many of their cases.